Hello everyone, my name is Rokos and today I'm in an MMA dojo. There's so many talks about MMA and Aikido and a Aikido you know, being Bushido and doesn't work. Honestly, I think in an MMA context, it's not going to work so well. But nobody's out there to check it out. Nobody out. Nobody's out there to prove it. And I decided to sacrifice a bit of myself and actually to see how it works. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna answer a question that was asked for so long and eventually it's gonna be answered. So I'm here with a semi-professional MMA fighter, Tadas. Yeah. Uh, so he's fighting both in Lithuania and outside Lithuania. Yeah, yeah, he had about 20 fights, 40 in MMA and six in K1 and Muay Thai. It's a very good number, I think, <laughs> in terms of MMA. Yeah. Cool, and uh, how many years have you been training uh, MMA? Uh, MMA? Mm. Uh, like uh, two or four, but I mm. was training uh, judo, mm. samba, boxing, K1, some karate, and everything put together. It's like 10 years of training. Mm. Well, just to let the audience know, I'll introduce quickly myself as well. So I'm doing Aikido for 13 years, uh, five years professional, professional instructor. But as you know, there's no competition in Aikido. So this area is completely new for me. I did a bit of BJJ, Birving Chan, but I'm not a fighter. I'm a, an Aikido practitioner, so we'll see where that leads. <laughs> all in all, what's, what's your uh, experience with Aikido? How do you see Aikido or how do your colleagues see Aikido? Well, I, I had uh, training about one month of Aikido. Mm -hmm. After a couple trainings, I realized it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> it's too hard to make uh, those uh, arm locks in a real fight because Mm. I, I'm not seeing uh, this working, right. but if it works, I'd be surprised. Yes, yeah. me too, <laughs> me happy too, but we'll see. Uh, and last question, I will tell everyone, so we, we decided to go slow, we'll, we'll just uh, start off friendly, just a sparring match, uh, nothing, no, as you said, no, no brutal chaos. No, no brutal no chaos, kicks. no brutal punches, only like uh, uh, technical uh, game planning, taking position, domination, uh, pushing, going for, uh, I don't know, submission. Personally, I don't expect to do very well. I'll do my best, but uh, what, what do you think? How, how, how is it going to go? Just if you get no sparrings, you'll be confused, uh, dis mm. distracted, uh, right. don't know what to do. Right, right. Uh, throwing punches, it's not for you. You're right, not right. training for that. So there are certain things you need to know uh, in the ring to, to apply it. It's not intuitive. It's not just doesn't happen by itself. It's First like, time in the, in the ring, it's like, uh, First time driving a car, like you, first time uh, sit in the car on the mm. steering wheel, you was afraid to drive to the street, uh, afraid of other cars. It's like the same. Right. right. You got to get comf comfortable in the, in, in the ring. Well, I have a perception that I might have been driving a very nice bicycle for a long time. So we'll see. We'll see what a car <laughs> does for me. Anyway, so okay, we're ready to start. Uh, I'm going to switch my clothes and we'll go in the ring. Okay. So rushing and doing this on Sunday morning, Tadas had only one uh, pair of MMA gloves, so he gave that to me. He took regular gloves, uh, so that gives him a dis disadvantage, but I don't think that's gonna be trouble for him, honestly. So, there we go. Five minutes in, I'm fairly confused. 
what's happening. I'm trying to figure out things and I asked the others to comment a bit as well. So what do you notice? Uh, yeah. When you like uh, sparring with a new guy, you can see clear facts of uh, uh, fear of punch, uh, punches, uh, yeah. fear of uh, taking punches, uh, right. drawing punches, fear of making something. Uh, right, yeah. So there's, it's clear that it's my first time in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah you can see totally, first time in the, in the ring. Uh, so basically my 13 years of Aikido didn't help me much here. Well, I did try what I did try. Uh, I yeah, was... he, he had some something. Uh, uh, he had like my back, but I don't know. He let he let go. Interesting because it took me at least a few minutes to realize, oh, I can grab. <laughs> <laughs> and Aikido is so much about grabs, but it's as soon as I grab, I would get a punch, which is bad. Yes. And uh, and then I turned my back, and you took it, and yes. and that was. <laughs> yes, uh, he was trying to grab uh, like a hand uh, to yeah. make something. You can see clearly when he's grabbing a hand, yeah. he lost his all defense. I right. can throw punches, can right. throw kicks. Uh, I'm done. Yeah. Thirty minutes in, most of the training was talking, not, <laughs> not sparring. Yeah. But because despite the practice of Aikido that I did, I started as if I feel here as a beginner, and the answer was yes, totally yeah. yes. So what, what did you notice when you were sparring? What? A lot of mistakes, like uh, uh, defense. Uh, this is not a defense. Also, when you defense, you look away, uh, afraid yeah. of punch. You got to overleap your fear of uh, taking punches. Right. Because uh, you get punch. Uh, it's gonna happen. Yeah. It's like if you're training uh, 10 years of punching back. 10 years of punching back, it's like you punch that back very good, yeah? But you never train on the opponent. Right. Then after 10 years come, take opponent, nothing happens. You forget everything, what nothing works, because uh, human is walking, human uh, opponent is making punches, not swinging. Mm. Uh, it's the same. If you're trying to make arm locks, uh, wrist locks, uh, you have to train on the uh, real situation. Nobody comes like this. Mm. Nobody comes like this. Yeah. Uh, nobody grabs here. If somebody grabs here, he's making. Yeah. When you're wrestling, it's yeah. possible to make a wrist lock, uh, yeah. arm lock, uh, but it's need. To you need to practice it yes. in, in the in the ring. Yes. So totally, totally, I really agree. Whatever Tade said, that's exactly what what I experienced. Probably, as you said, if I would train here long enough, maybe I could add those things. Yeah. But it's not going to happen by just training on the yes. Tatami. In general, I think the message is clear. It's obvious that Aikido is not meant for this situation or it should be practiced in a different way. Yes. I'm really grateful for the chance and I'm really I'm really thankful to Tadas that he, he went to, with me as, a, as really a student, not, not as an equal. I think if he would go on me and as an equal, I think I would be dead by now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, I think so. But then that, I think that also shows how great MMA people can be, that, that actually you're, you're very sensitive, considerate, you're not just about going and some people think you know MMA is all yeah, about, about just the punching crowd, people, yeah. but yeah. it's it's not it's not like that. So yeah, but uh, thank you very much for for thank that you. pleasure. <laughs> thank you. 
So there you go, uh, clean, honest answer. And if you have the question, okay, somebody else would have done from the Aikido world would have done better than me, for sure there are some who train more, more rough, more street Aikido, but, but I just asked the question, okay, does it make sense to train Aikido in that, in that way? Is that what it's made for? Did Aikido gave me something? It changed my life. The fact that I can do these videos and the fact that I can talk about it, Aikido has helped me develop that quality, that, that character. If I would use it for self-defense in a street situation, maybe I would use it differently. Maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't. I think it would work. Maybe not against a tough fighter as, as Tadas, but not everyone knows to, how to fight. Not everyone goes to the street to fight like that. But no, no, that's not what I'm focused about. I was like a bicycle, riding a bicycle. Bicycle riding is great, great for your health, you have fresh air, but you can't race with a car. You have to race with a car. Is it worth training Aikido? For sure, but you have to be clear why you're training. Would some Aikido people do better than me? Yes. Would some Aikido do worse than me? A lot of, I think yes. I mean, I've been training Aikido for 13 years. That's quite a bit and I'm, I'm very dedicated to it. It's just, I'm not directing this here. If I want to be a professional MMA fighter, that'd be different. You want to prove me wrong, do a video, but right now, that's where we're going to stop. So just to summarize it, if you want Aikido to be something more of a fighting art, you have to make it. But so far, if you're not going to make it into self-development art and with a sense of self-defense on the side, you're going to try to pretend that it's the best martial art in the world. I'm not sure that's a great point. Be clear. Why train Aikido? What are you seeking for? And don't try to compare bicycles with cars.